Okay, now this is going to be really doing more of the setup of the printer. Uh, inside the um, in, inside the top of the box was also a getting started guide for the MakerBot Replicator Mini, and it is uh, basically uh, unfolds to four times the size, and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions for some of what I did in the unboxing video, lifting it out of the box, and then it quickly gets into installing different components. So it's telling you to install the Smart Extruder as one of the next steps. So we've got the Smart Extruder Plus which is the newer version and uh, you know it's no secret we have a large fifth generation replicator for MakerBot. It uses uh, a, it appears to be exactly the same uh, Smart Extruder Plus and we've been using that on our printer for a while now but you simply put it into the uh, right on the back of, of the, on the uh, underneath the gantry is a whole assembly which is moves around to extrude the plastic and it, this just snaps onto the back with magnets. It's really quite simple. And then they're saying um, take a spool of filament which they give you a sample spool and to put it into the, a filament pocket. So in the back of the printer here, and I'm going to turn this down so we can try to see. Not only can you see the Smart Extruder Plus that I installed here, but there is a pocket that just drops down in for the filament. Now this printer is constructed very differently than our fifth generation machine. It's uh, got a big sheet metal back that's powder coated, and there are plastic components to it, but th this has got some weight to it. It's pretty solidly built. Another thing I want to show you is on the very bottom uh, it's got some um, molded um, you know sort of a rubbery plastic feet uh, that are in red here that actually get take a good grip on the surface so it's not gonna move around on you while it's printing. And there is a, a button here on the front of the printer which is covered by a sticker that says before printing update printer firmware see user guide which is always a good thing to do pretty much do that with every printer that we install and test uh, so we'll definitely we'll do that but the next step as I was saying is to take the filament and put it in to the filament pocket I am going to cut the end of the filament off as I always do so that we have a good clean end and we're gonna, it's sort of, their filament spools snap in. This is a bit of a different system than on the fifth gen, which is kind of like a drawer that opens up and you put it on and then put it in. On this one, uh, it's got a little place where it snaps in, which is nice. And there is this filament guide tube, which also has a piece of plastic, um, black molded plastic on the end of it. I'm actually gonna bring that a little closer to the camera so you can see. Uh, it's got, a molded piece of plastic on the end of the tube and that is so that it snaps in in the back of the printer uh, above the spool but I think the reason they make this um, plastic part attached to the tube is because once you uh, put it in place it seems to actually block it, uh, it, it would block the spool being removed so uh, and then once you have your end of your filament and your tube here, that would go down into the top of the Smart Extruder for when we load the filament. We're not going to load it till we power it on, uh, but for now that's where it is. Um, next is they're saying to take the build plate, and this build plate is significantly different uh, also from the larger fifth generation printer. It is a piece of molded plastic and it has some metal pieces here I think they may be I don't know if those are magnets but there are three metal pieces here we're gonna check that out um, 
and what it's saying is to apply the build plate tape and of course the MakerBot printers are all intended to use uh, you know blue painters tape and they have some special die cut ones here with holes uh, or three little cutouts for what appear to be each of these three little metal uh, parts on the build plate. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. On the larger fifth generation printers the tape or the build plate is actually glass and then you put, apply tape to the glass. So this is a little different. So it's not too difficult to line up that tape where it needs to go. You definitely want to make sure you squeeze out any air bubbles that are under there so you have a very flat surface. It's not too hard to do. So now the tape is applied and it says install build plate. And this is all done other than, other than the specific titles that are written. There's really not very many instructions. It's mostly kind of like uh, putting together a piece of IKEA furniture if you've ever done that where everything is done through diagrams. So we're going to go in and install that build plate. And you know what? That just snapped right in. It just pushed in and snapped in and it looks like um, well we'll have to read and find out exactly how we remove it uh, later when we need to. Because uh, it did just really snap in place there, which which is great. Um, and this one works um, a little differently than some build plates lift up and down. I can see here there's the center Z screw for the motor for lifting the build plate. But on the side it's got sort of a rack and pinion kind of a, a structure for guiding the build plate up evenly on each side. There's two gears on the back here that are you know, rotating and maintaining, must be maintaining the level where a lot of 3D printers have two guide rails and some linear bearings that keep it tracking uh, straight. In this case, they've done something a little different. Very interesting. So at this point, next thing it says is connect your computer via USB cable, plug it in, and power it on, and uh, work with the MakerBot desktop and of course as I said here before update the firmware. So I'm going to do that next. That'll be the next little video here and we'll go from there. I'll be back. See you on the next video.